Hey guys, Cody SCM here and welcome back to Destiny Follower. So I wanted to bring you guys a quick news update. So as you may know, the last patch that Destiny rolled out had some pretty nasty issues when it came to Crucible connectivity and players connecting to Nightfalls and things like that. The issues were so bad that Bungie had to cancel Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner. But the good news is Bungie rolled out a hotfix on Thursday that was designed to address these problems. As of right now, Trials of Osiris is on and continuing and as long as issues don't arise over this weekend, we will be seeing the return of Iron Banner this Tuesday, June the 28th and it will run from the 28th until July the 5th. I wanted to let you guys know that Iron Banner will be returning next week as long as there are no more connectivity issues in the game, and I'm pretty excited for it to come back. The Iron Banner game mode will be Clash, and you will be able to earn helmets for your Guardians, as well as the PlayStation exclusive helmets if you're on that platform. The weapons that will be returning for Iron Banner are the Iron Banner Scout Rifle, the Call of Vance's Duty, and the Iron Banner Machine Gun, the Bretomart Stand. And also, in a recent interview with Playboy Magazine, Rise of Iron executive producer Scott Taylor spoke at great length about a lot of different things that we can expect to see with Rise of Iron come September. Probably the most exciting thing that was confirmed in this interview is that Infusion as we know it currently in the game is going to stay in place exactly the same way that it is now. That means that also any piece of gear that you've gotten since the Taken King dropped can now be infused up to whatever Rise of Iron's maximum light level will actually be. This is pretty exciting news for a lot of us who have a lot of gear that we've gotten since the Taken King dropped that we're really fond of and that we want to keep and it's really awesome that they've given us the option to bring our year 2 gear forward into Rise of Iron that way, you know, a lot of our gear doesn't end up being useless like a lot of year one gear was rendered when the Taken King released. It was also confirmed that we will be seeing brand new exotics come Rise of Iron and we're going to be seeing exotics that we already know about but that aren't currently in the game. So as many of you may know, there were several exotics that were listed in Bungie's armory for Destiny with the Taken King, but that never actually made it into the game. So it seems as though these exotic items are going to turn up at some point with Rise of Iron. Scott also mentioned that there are going to be new rituals tied to Destiny's endgame, but when asked to elaborate on that further, he just said that was something that they would talk about later. So it seems as though these new rituals are ways that we can make our guardians stronger, but we don't know anything more about them at this point, but it does sound pretty exciting. But that about wraps up everything that I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to Destiny Follower, make sure to hit that subscribe button for the latest Destiny news, lore, and entertainment. As always, my name is Cody SCM, and thank you for watching Destiny Follower.